the little cities have done it. The large cities have refused to do it because they can't do it secretly yeah. uh, if you're a big municipal government. But in another way, uh, this, this is going to sound a little cruel, but in another way, the cities that are being hit are the weak members of the herd. They have poor cybersecurity. They don't invest in uh, modernizing their IT. They don't invest in cyber protection. But that's why they're being picked off. One thing that ransomware tells you is who had bad security. So tell me, what does it take to have good security? What are the companies that are surviving this, are resilient through this? What do they have in common? They have three things in common. First of all, they have leadership at the CEO level and at the board level that understands this is a reputational issue. Uh, this is a, uh, an existential issue, potentially. Uh, so leadership committed and understanding the issue. Secondly, that flowing from that uh, is a culture of security where they educate the workforce about why we have to worry about this and the reason to be aware of cybersecurity and put up with some inconvenience, frankly. Yeah. But the third and probably most important thing that also flows from the governance model is money. Money to buy the state-of-the-art cybersecurity products. Basically, if you're spending 3 or 4% of your IT budget on security, you're going to be hacked and you're going to suffer. If you're spending double that or more in the 8 to 10% of your IT budget, uh, then you can achieve security. You constantly have to update it. You constantly have to change as the threat evolves. But you can achieve security if you spend enough money. So given that this... And the problem is the United States government uh, even though it's spending about $7 billion a year, um, asks every little government agency to protect itself. Mm.